Well, good day, everybody. Welcome back to the High Desert Garden. Today, I just want to bring you a quick video on some changes that I've made to my formula for my potting mix. Now, my old potting mix formula is a really good formula, and it did work really well for me. But last winter, when I was starting my plants indoors, my uh, pepper and my tomato plants, I did experience some issues where the soil wasn't drying out quick enough. And pepper and tomatoes both can be really finicky when it comes to soil that doesn't dry out soon enough or overwatering. So some of it may be <laughs> my overwatering, but I've just found that changing up the formula just a little bit works better. So I'm just gonna quickly give that to you. So I'm doing two parts vermiculite or perlite whichever one you want to use, and then two parts worm castings or worm compost. Um, if you don't have worm compost, maybe you can get some at a local organic uh, shop of some sort. If you can't get any or it's too expensive for you, you can always just use some nice compost instead. If you are going to use the worm castings like I do, I do two parts vermiculite, two parts worm casting. I like to throw in is some peat moss or cocoa core, whichever you like to use, whichever you have on hand. You can use both if you want. Uh, just make sure that altogether it's only one part. Uh, and that's the mix that I found has worked really well for me. Um, it it allows for more drainage. If I make a mistake and I overwater, uh, it's generally not a problem. The only thing is you will have to stay on top of your watering and you know different soil mixes may work for different people you may have a um, completely different environment than what i have but i wanted to bring that to you guys i also have a couple updates about the channel so the channel has been doing really well i've been getting anywhere between 150 to 200 new subscribers each month and uh we're all the way up to six thousand 400, 6,500, somewhere in there. Uh, so I'm really uh, happy with the growth of the channel. And um, I do want to start putting out more videos. I do have more time to do so now. I also want to note that I don't have a Patreon. I don't want to ask for your guys' money or anything. Uh, but it really does help me out if you do like the video. Give it a like. If you don't like it, give it a dislike. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. I have a wide range of videos on gardening, and I'm only going to be adding to the collect. Also, I wanted to thank you guys for your concern about our dog that uh, passed or was essentially poisoned with antifreeze. Um, like I said in that video, there's been many dogs in this area, and I'm finding out it's more than just from one neighboring city that's having the same issue, but multiple neighboring cities in this area, for some reason, um, dogs are getting poisoned uh, with antifreeze. Uh, so it's not a good thing, obviously, but you don't have to worry because it's not like we are being targeted uh, individually. Uh, this is something that's just happening and uh, hopefully the authorities can work it out. Uh, hopefully they catch the people before I do. Uh, anyhow, I want to thank you guys for watching as usual, and I want to encourage you guys to grow organic, eat organic, so you can be organic.